Hello everyone and welcome to Nev Neo Plays. Nevika here and this is my first ever playthrough with commentary. We have a few others in our channel, but never with commentary. And I decided to give it a try and what game did I decide on? Skies of Arcadia Legends. Why? Well, let's see. This game first came out for the Dreamcast when I was a little young and, and I have never been able to find a game similar to this one since. It is a true rare gem and I've enjoyed it every single time I've played it. I've played it numerous times and then it came out on the GameCube and this is Kaiser Arcadia Legends and I didn't think they could make it any better, but they did. And this game is just phenomenal. It will always be a part of me. It's it's unique. It's creative. It's just I love it. There you have to experience it to understand. And I'm going to relive that experience again with you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. And I can't wait to get started. I'm extremely excited. Uh, this game does not have a lot of spoken audio. I mean, I'm sorry, dialogue besides the yeah and woo or little, you know, sounds like that. So I'll, I'll read the dialogue as best I can. I don't like to speak too much during the cutscenes. And uh, that's it. Ugh. Can we just take a minute to enjoy this opening scene here? Gosh, as I was a kid, I would just turn it on just to hear this song for a little while. It's just so serene. I don't know. I love it. This game was very ahead of its time. And god, I wish they made a sequel or a prequel or at least a remaster. I don't know what they're doing. I would pay good money to buy it again. Until then, we stick with the only one we've ever had. And enjoy the heck out of it once again. Let's get started. New game, please. Sure, let's do Enable Rumble. Nostalgia at its absolute finest. I hope you guys enjoy the journey as much as I will. We finally found her. Admiral Alfonso, her ship's in range of our cannons. Excellent! Prepare to fire concussion shells on my command, but avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Fire! Your Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. 
<laughs> the Empress will be very pleased with me. I'm sure to be rewarded. Rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where did that come from? It sounded like an explosion. Status report, now! The, the lower hull has been hit. Someone is attacking us. Attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? There's a small ship hiding in the clouds off port side. Th that flag! Air pirates! <gasps> and here comes our leading man. I love this main character. It's one of my favorites main characters in any game I've ever played. He's just so awesome. Air pirate scum! Don't you know that we're valuing Imperial soldiers? Of course I know. That's why we attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. I'm Vice of the Blue Rose, and in a few minutes, I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. Ha! <laughs> Attacking us all by yourself? You're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. We'll be tossing you overboard. Wait for me! Vice, you left without me! I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh! Hi! I'm Aika. I'm a blue rogue like Vice. And we're robbing you. You dare mock the Valuant Empire with your insolence? Kill them! And toss their corpses over the side! Ooh, they be mad. Let's see whose corpses will be getting tossed. Now in this game, we have attack, special moves, which we need to occur points from up there, spirit points. Magic, which we don't have yet. We learn magic by um, using our weapons with certain colors. Like, see, Vice's sword is red, so right now he's learning red magic. Ah, oh, you see? I love how you could just check out their weapons. You're gonna be able to buy different weapons and see how they look anytime. It's okay. See, okay, and now it's green. I can have him learn green magic if I want. Those are the only two colors we have at the moment. Have them stick with red. Focus, shield, item, or run. Ha! We're gonna run from these guys, right? Let's attack. And, ooh, same with Aika. Always loved her boomerangs. We'll keep her learning green. Attack! There you go. Get out of here. Ooh, that's my girl. You can't touch this, come on. Oh, and then, oh, a critical hit. Mm, so nice. Very well done, Aika. You are MVP. What happened, guys? What happened? There's no point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbecile! What do the two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take them out! I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad! We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out here, remember, it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah, aye, aye, Captain. Aika. Shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's go find that bridge. Let's go! Ooh, that's got my back. Ooh, item. Sacri crystal. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? 
Hmm. Sakri crystals restore our health. Very nice. Okay, super moves. We only have one right now. We need moon berries to get more. Moon berries are rare items that just randomly come up in the screen and give you joy. Vice the unimpressive. Well, thanks. Oof, Aika has no special moves yet. We gotta fix that soon. Okay, let us continue on, shall we? Oh, I love the soundtrack. So wonderful. Such a great soundtrack. Well, well. Air pirates have decided to infest my ship. I am Alfonso, cherished son of Valua's most distinguished family, and an admiral of the Imperial Armada. Normally, lowlifes such as yourselves would never have the opportunity to bask in such greatness. Consider yourselves fortunate. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? I never thought someone of your stature would stoop to kidnapping. Ha! Huh, you're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have you exterminated like the pests you are. Dispose of them. Dispose of them. He's so fancy. Dispose of us, will you? See about that. Look at that one hit. Jesus. Oh. Oh, even while guarding. Sit down, son. Whatever. Let's get him. Good job, I go. Come on, Vice. Get him back. That's how it's done. <laughs> that was easy. It sure was. Level up. Ooh, we just learned our first green magic. Sakri, good job, Aika. Now we can heal with magic. Uh oh, they're on to us. More sacred crystals, very nice. Let's go get this Alfonso. Little fish. This game has random encounters. Fun stuff, I know. Oh, these are all the weakling dudes, let's get them. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. You get him, Vice. You finish this guy off. Very nice. One left. Nice. That wasn't so bad. No, it was not. Good job, dude. Ooh, our first red magic learned by Vice. Pyrie. Or Perry. Or Pyramid. I've always called it Pyrie. I don't know. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know in the comments, please. What? How did you defeat my soldiers? Huh. If you want my ship that badly, you can have it. I'll get another. I am very busy. I do not have time to deal with you personally. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
Bring it. Oh, these are the ones that take more than one hit to kill. Come on. Let's gang up on each of them one by one. One down. Next one. Ooh, girl. Ooh, that's how it's done. Good job, Ica. Ugh, of course this guy's blocking. Get him. Take oh, another. Oh my god. Girl, you going hard? No mercy, man. Oh, look at that. Why is that no face for a moment? Let us carry on. Oh, there's something over here. Nope. Just wasting my time. We gotta get this alarm off. Yes! I should stop the random encounters for now. Let's get out of here. Magic droplets. Two of them. Yeah. Let's go. Looks like we're outside the ship. Going down. An another beautiful point of view moment that was not necessary. It was not necessary at all, but they put it in, because why not? Because that's what good developers do. And it is noticed, and it is appreciated. Thank you. Little things like that that make this game so great. <sighs> Your Excellency, the sun is up and visibility is good. The preparations for your escape have been completed. Good work. I have finished my preparations as well. Preparations to dispose of a traitor. But what? But please, your excellency, what are you doing? I cannot tell the empress that I lost my ship to the air pirates in a fair fight. I am going to need a scapegoat, and you'll do quite nicely. To keep my glorious reputation from being tarnished, you must be sacrificed. But no! You can't do this! Ah! He disposed of him. <laughs> Even in death, he'll serve me well. I can't wait to tell the Empress. But Empress, my own vice captain betrayed us and allowed the air pirates on board. I could do not but dispose of the traitor myself. So, this is how Valio treats its people. What? Now that we've taken control of your ship, we'll be taking the girl as well. There's just one more thing I need to do. After seeing you kill an, unarm un an unarmed man in cold blood, I can't allow you to walk away from this. Draw your blade, Alfonso. Ha! Huh. An uncivilized rogue such as yourself wants to challenge me? You aren't worth my effort. But perhaps you'd like to meet one of my pets. Come, Antonio! No, Antonio, don't do this! What? What is that thing? Oh, man, Antonio. He's my personal war beast. I was going to leave him here, but it seems I've found a use for him after all. Antonio, trample the pests and make their deaths as painful as possible. 
Oh man, Antonio. I know you're just doing your job. But... I must dispose of you, man. You are a good loyal lad. Okay. We're gonna need our spirit points for this one, so... Let's focus. Starting strong, I see. Oh, he's fine. Vas is fine. Hmm, Vas, what, what can we do for you? You wanna attack him? Aika, you keep focusing. Mm, now we have enough. Oh, come on. Come on, Vi. How, how can you mi Oh my god. See what you did? See what you let him do. You you better get him now. You better unleash your fury. And Aka, you you gotta heal your boy. Heal him. Let's try this. Now, Vice, you better unleash all that fury for attacking your girl. Heal them. Okay, okay, let's attack them and you go ahead and focus. Oh my god! I don't like that! Of course, I don't counter attack, of course. Okay, let's attack him again. Aika, you focus. Come on, Vice, don't miss. There you go. Uh-oh. Ouch! Not looking good. Gunless Fury! And... Another Sacre. To... Let's try this. All right. You. Ooh, halfway there. close one. Okay. Attack. Aika. It's the last sacred crystal, girl. Ooh, thank you, Vice. Ooh, yeah, you mad. Put that Let's in Tony this. place. Okay. You better counter. Damn right. Mother flower. You know what? Let's block. Because I bet she's gonna do that. Yep. Whatever. Called it. Ooh, yes. Another colorless fury. Aika, you block again. I think we can skip it this time. Ow! Oh! Adios. Vaya con Dios. First Moonberry folks, we're on our way to more powers. Bah! Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Well, Vice of the Blue Rogues, you will rue this day, the day you stood against the Valuant Empire. We shall meet again. Get out of here. Ugh, yeah. Fist 
in the air. You coward! What kind of a commander sacrifices his own men and his ship to run from a fight? Well, even though he was a coward, he was a coward with gold. True. I suppose that the ship and everything on it officially belongs to us now. We haven't had a catch this big for quite some time. The people back home are going to be impressed. And look at this girl. I've never seen anyone dress like that before. You're right. She sure doesn't look like she's from around here. I wonder why Valio was trying to kidnap this girl in the first place. Hmm. I wonder where she's from. I wonder where she's from. This place. Am I... Am I home? Ina. Ina, you replace Rami, the moon. Elder. However, watch yourself. Do not allow trust. Elder. Interesting. How is she, Vice? Hmm, her breathing's more regular now. I think she'll be alright. Hmm, will she though? Will she? I hope so. <gasps> hey! Look, she's coming too! Where am I? You're aboard our ship, the Albatross. I'm Vice. Don't worry, there aren't any value in troops around, so you'll be safe here. Yes, um, thank you very much. <laughs> you don't need to thank us. The Blue Rogues are always there to help people. <laughs> My name is Aika. It's nice to meet you. Hey, could you tell us your name? My name? My name is Fina. Hmm, that's a great name. That's a strange name. So where are you from exactly? Come on, let's be let's be a gentleman. Fina, huh? It's a great name. It's so so feminine. R really? Do you think so? Jeez, you try and compliment someone and nothing. No reaction whatsoever. Vice, that wasn't much of a compliment. Looks like you have a lot to learn about women. <laughs> um, excuse me, but I have a question. What exactly is an air... air pirate? What? You were outside sailing all by yourself and you don't even know what air pirates are? Oh, I... I'm sorry. It's my first time traveling. Basically, air pirates are sailors that attack other ships and steal their cargo. Attack? <laughs> you don't have to worry about us. We're blue rogues. See, air pirates are divided into two factions. The blue rogues and the black pirates. The black pirates will attack anything in the sky, especially merchant vessels and unarmed ships. However, we Blue Rogues only take cargo from our armed ships, especially the Imperial Armada. We brought from the rich and keep the gold, but we use the gold to save people that need our help. That's why we helped you. Don't worry, we aren't trying to kidnap you or anything. Just relax and enjoy the trip. Um, sure. Vice, Aika, how long are you going to sit there chit-chatting? Come to the bridge now. Oh no, I completely lost track of time. Oh well, I guess that means we have to go. Alright, Fina, we'll see you later. Try and get some rest. <sighs> Poor Fina, that was a lot to take in. We are on board the Albatross. What's around here? 
The barrel is stuffed with all sorts of preserved foods. It's important to eat right, especially on long voyages. I like how you can even, like, interact with random stuff. It's full of ammunition. We're not allowed to take any without my dad's permission. He's very strict about things like that. Isn't this great? It's one of the Albatross's main cannons. Not all our cannons are attached to the ship. We can move this one around the ship if we need to. Uh, see, I, I love that. You could just go up against a random box and there's some story behind it. Hey, Vice. The raid earlier was pretty good. It's been a while since we raided a Valuant ship. If you're wondering what we did with the Valuants, well... When they heard their fearless leader abandoned ship, they surrendered. Captain Dine just let them go, though. Well, after we took their treasure, of course. And there was a lot of it. We'll take what we can, but we only fight when we need to. That's what separates us blue rogues from the black pirates. Thanks, Nyan. Anyone here? Anyone here? Are you feeling any better, Fina? Oh, and don't worry. You're free to walk, to walk around the ship if you want. Oh, yes. I'm fine. Thank you all for what you've done for me. Did I say that wrong? Thank you for everything that you've done for me. Sorry, my bad. It's a talking to. This one is connected with the bridge. Vice, what are you doing? Come to the bridge on the double. Yeah, I love that. What? I love that. Alright, who left this barrel here? I swear. If my dad finds out, someone's going to be in big trouble. You see? A barrel. It's just a random barrel. It has a story. I love it. I love this game. Let's see what dad wants. It's a map of mid-ocean. This area is considered the turf of the Dine family blue rogues. Cooies. When you're at the helm, watch out for sky rips. There are those really strong downdrafts that surround Pirate Isle. If your engines if your engines aren't strong enough and you fly into them, the wind will push you down into deep sky. The pressure down there would crush us. Well, Steer clear of the sky rips. If you try and power through them, you'll get sucked into you'll get sucked into deep sky. But you already knew that, right? Now I do. Thank you, lad. Oh, there you are, Vice. You finally decided to join us on the bridge, huh? Well, we're heading back home to Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle is southeast from here. Just head south first, and it's just past the Valley of Islands. Head south through the Valley of Islands. Aye, aye. All right, let's get moving then. Full speed ahead to Pirate Isle. Oops. Oops. Wait. I haven't talked to dad. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Vice, before we set sail, do you have any questions that you wanted to ask me? How do I steer this thing? How do we get home from here? No, not really. No, not really. Well then, full speed ahead. Destination, Pirate Isle. Wait. I gotta talk to dad. I feel bad. I don't wanna ignore him. It's messed up. Okay, Dad. What's up? Hey, where are you going? Vice, you got work to do here on the bridge. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's get going. First, I gotta. I gotta make sure I'm healed, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm alright. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm alright. Oh, hey, but we got a, a moonberry. Can we do anything? Can we get anything? Ah! Oh! Vice takes a defensive stance, countering all enemy physical attacks for a full turn. That sounds good. Or, 
Aika spins her boomerang, summoning a vortex of flames to strike all enemies in a line. We gotta give Aika her first super move. We must. Alpha Storm. Let's go. Okay, set south. We have found the pirate's grave. It appears that someone who scribbled onto the stone, here lies an unknown blue rogue. The actual name has been worn away by the wind, but the first letter D can still be made out. Nobody remembers who rests here. Wait, that's the legendary pirate's grave. Good job, Vice. I'm sure that the Sailor's Guild would be more than happy to pay you for making this discovery. Guild? Pay me for a discovery. Much of this world is uncharted and shrouded in legend. Ruins, strange creatures, all sorts of things are waiting to be discovered. Any major port city will have a sailor's guild. They pay explorers well for any information on discoveries that they've made. When you're flying through the skies and your compass starts spinning around rapidly, that means there's a discovery nearby. If you try searching the area, you'll probably find a discovery. Just head around. I mean, I'm sorry, just head over to the Sailor's Guild afterwards and collect your reward. But the longer you wait, the greater the chance that someone else will beat you to it. So you should visit the guild as soon as you can, okay? Okay, daddy -o. That's something else I love about this game. There's just random discoveries. Uh, I forgot to mention, I don't, this, I don't think this is going to be a 100% playthrough. I, I'm just gonna play it casually and uh, I know mostly where discoveries are but some take a really long time to find and are difficult to find actually so I might I don't I mean I don't think I will I enjoy just playing casually maybe later on in the future I'll do a hundred percent playthrough but for now I think casually just so we can have fun Heading home to Pirate Isle. Isn't Pina gorgeous? But you know what? Aika's my girl. She's always been my girl. Hey! Hey, Fina. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> No problem. I'm just happy to see that you're well. Looks like we'll be reaching the island soon. Island? You can see it right over there. That's our base. Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle. It's home. And that's our mama. Good to be home. Mo, well, let's land and say hi to everyone. Park it up. Thank you, good sir, for guiding me. Now we can finally relax. And enjoy the loot. Weapons, armor, gold? Now this is a great catch. One of our best yet. Tonight we should celebrate. Fire! Yeah! 
Well, Fina, this is what we do. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks challenging. <laughs> challenging, huh? Well, now that you mention it, it isn't easy, but it is fun. underground base This is the underground port inside of Pirate Isle. From the outside, this island looks like a quiet, peaceful village. But the inside of the island is where our headquarters is located. There are armories, shops, and even a tavern inside here. Come on, we'll give you a tour. Vice Come to my office immediately and bring that girl with you. Oh, he mad. Vice, I wonder what that was all about. I'm not sure, but we'd better hurry. You know how my dad gets when we're late. It's because I ignored him earlier. I know that's what it is. Fifteen pirates escape with their lives, and only a single bottle of Lockwell between them. And a yo-ho-ho, -ho, a yo-ho-ho. Ha! -ho. <laughs> I've got a good singing voice, eh? This is the song we pirates sing when we're forced to swab the decks. You swab away, good sir. Salute you. This is where we store most of the loot from our raids. Later, we'll separate the stuff that we want to keep from what we want to sell. On sailboats, ropes are used for just about everything. Having good, strong ropes can mean the difference between life and death. It's good to know, Vice. Do you have something to say about this? No? no? I'm shocked. special later folks we gotta remember that one if I forget y'all better remind me now my dad told me that he stole this cannon from a black pirate when he was younger it's pretty old but it's really powerful should we use it it's full of cannonballs I remember when I was a kid my dad made me polish cannonballs all the time I really hated doing that And so, it's in here. Hmm? They're drinking! Cheers! Ha! Lakwa sure does hit the spot. Captain Dine really does know how to pick the Lockwood berries. This stuff is good! <laughs> it's been a while since we've taken over an Armada flagship. We deserve to take a little break now and then. Mm -hmm. Should you be sitting here drinking Lockwood with the rest of us when you've got a beautiful, hard-working wife waiting for you at home? Hey, there's nothing wrong with relaxing with friends after a hard day's work. My, oh my, this place sure is full. Fina, this is our tavern. They serve all kinds of drinks here. Nectars, juices, laqua. Um, excuse me, but what exactly is laqua? What? Fina, you really don't know what laqua is? Well, um... I don't know exactly, but it appears to be a really good tasting drink of some kind. Everyone seems to be drinking it so fervently. They must be delicious. You want to share a bottle of Merlaqua with us? It's made from Laqua berries and moonstones. It's just a juice, but it tastes great. No, 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 no. We don't have time to just sit around right now. We have to go talk to the captain. Why? Are we not supposed to be here? 
Well, the captain is always getting on our case for being late and stuff. I really don't want to get into any more trouble today. <laughs> yeah, my dad can get pretty worked up when he's mad. We wouldn't want him to have a heart attack now, would we? <laughs> You're so mean to your dad, you know that, Vice? Come on. We should probably get going. Your dad's waiting for us. Oh, come on. You can have a drink. You're the first visitor we've had in a long time. Make yourself at home, miss. And don't be afraid for anything. Don't be afraid to ask anything you need. We blue rogues are a friend to any travelers of the skies. Well, if you're an armed traveler with gold, it's a different story. <laughs> Plundering treasure is fine, but just once I'd like to find a well-built, handsome young man as treasure instead of the usual. Of course, if I did that, I'd be just like a black pirate instead of a blue rogue. Oh well, I suppose that means it's off-limits. Ha! It's been a long time since I've seen the Valiants get their butts beaten that badly. Good job, Vice. And while I'm in such a good mood, I think I'll go up to the training center above ground and have myself a good workout. There's Lakwas of all colors lined up on the walls here. I wonder if Lakwa made with silver moonstones actually exists. That lets everyone eat a little better than usual whenever we successfully raid a value and ship. They always have the best stuff. It's a barrel filled with Lakwa. After it's been processed with the moonstones, the bitter smell of Lakwa berries is hardly noticeable. We took this armor from a value and vessel a long time ago. Looks like someone had a little fun drawing on it. Looks much better now. <laughs> it's the log from the value and battleship that we just raided. Hey, Dad is mentioned in here. He's famous. Ha, <laughs> my dad's a great air pirate. He sure is. So let's not make them angry. But let's check out other places first, yeah? It's the flag man. My job is to guide the albatross into the underground entrance so that it can dock in the harbor safely. We use flag signals to communicate to each other over vast distances. Right now I'm coordinating the loading of supplies onto the albatross. Good job, lad. This is where we store various ship parts that we steal from enemy ships. These boxes have been sitting here for as long as I can remember. I don't even think my dad knows what's piled up in here anymore. But I suppose it's better to have more parts than not. Look, there's a chest up there though. Soon. We're home! You know, there really isn't anything else quite like the feeling you get when you reach your home port. I can relate, sir. I always want to go home when I'm at work. Weapon parts, moonstones, this must be where Zack puts all of his odds and ends. I wonder if he's ever going to use any of this stuff. Wow, fruit! Aaron probably grabbed this from one of our raids. Fruit is hard to come by. Well, fruit other than lakwad berries, that is. <laughs> come right in. This is a weapon and armor shop. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to charge you even if you are a fellow air pirate. I have to go to a lot of trouble to get my stock. Whatever, dude. Most weapons are forged out of moonstones. Well, it's not the only thing we use, but it's one of the main materials. And since weapons are made of moonstones, they can be affected by other moonstones if used properly. To learn all the details, ask at the training center that's located above ground. What you got, Zack? Ooh, a new weapon. Oh, so pricey. Man, what are we gonna get? I still have... Let me see, sell stuff. 
kill the old settlers. Still not enough, man. Wham. Do I have to wait? Sorry, I thought you can blame Zach for being so pricey. Ugh, I'm not even gonna have anything for you. Erin. Oh, hello, Vice. Do come in. See anything that you want to buy? Unlike spells that require MP, if you have a healing crystal, you can recover your HP anytime and any place. Some of the tougher air pirates refuse to use them to save themselves, but I say it never hurts to play it safe. I agree, Erin. I just don't know if I should buy any, cause... I want Ika's boomerang. Oh wait. Well, thank you, Aaron. Oop. No way. Ugh. So far up, Dad. Nobody got top of this. It's in here. Weapons are set aside here in case of an emergency. We've all been trained to spring into action at any moment's notice. Most sailors feel at home sleeping in hammocks. That's probably because they spend most of their time out sailing. I prefer a nice warm bed. You and me both. Ugh. I haven't been home in such a long time. Please, just let me sleep. You got it, fam. It's a barrel full of freshly made relic laqua. I think it's made with red moonstones. It's a little too spicy for my taste, to be honest. These boxes are filled with laqua berries and moonstones used in making laqua. <laughs> this stuff sure is popular around here. I noticed. Okay, that's where dad is, so let's wait on that. Saw this guy over here. Captain Dine's orders. The exit to the village above ground has been locked. He said that you weren't allowed to bring the girl topside until he's had a chance to talk with her. You better go see him first. Ugh. Fine, Dad. Let's go see what he wants. Vice and Ica reporting for duty, and we brought Fina like you requested. <laughs> You're a little late. I'll let it slide this time. Come on over. Young lady, I am Dine, the captain of the Blue Rogues. There are a few questions that I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Uh, of course. I've been sailing for a very long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. What country are you from, and why were you traveling alone out there? Hmm. Defend, or sit quietly and listen. We don't know anything about Fina, so maybe Dad's right. You should, you should listen. Captain Dine, you worry too much. Fina's just a normal girl. Silence, Zyka. I am the captain here. It is my duty to protect the safety of my family and my crew. You see? If this girl is a danger of any sort to you or any of my men, I cannot let her live. Huh? But, but... Fina, it is your turn to speak. Fina, I, I cannot say. Why is that? Is it because we are air pirates? Don't you trust us? Uh -uh. No, that has nothing to do with it. I thank you with all my heart for saving my life, but I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you believe anything that I say, please believe this. 
All right, then. <laughs> Looks like I lost this one. I understand your dilemma, and I can see in your eyes that you are true to your word. Although we're air pirates, we also have a strong sense of honor. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that you now have my trust. Be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Vice, Aika, bring the girl. Fina, top side and give her a tour of the village. Yes. Now that's more like it. Way to go, Dad. You're the best. It's not Dad, it's Captain. I swear, how many times do I have to remind you? You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. Oh, Dad. Now listen up, Vice. There are times when something other than brute strength or sharpness of mind is demanded of a man. Sometimes you have to have a firm grasp of the entire situation at hand. That's when you need to learn how to be a swashbuckler. People will notice how you behave in various situations, and you'll begin to earn a reputation based on those actions. That's why you need to try and be as adventuresome as possible, without forgetting your leadership responsibilities, okay? Your swashbuckler rating is a quality that you must cultivate in your words and actions every day of your life. Never forget that. Okay guys, what he means by swashbuckler is that. Vice the unimpressive. That is my rating right now. I am unimpressive. I am a lamo. I am a estupe. And how do I raise that? By choosing the right choices. Like right now when I stayed silent and it went that means I that was the right choice. And therefore my swashbuckler rating will eventually go up. Not right away, I think it takes a couple of correct choices before it, the title will change. It'll be Vice the something else later. But for right now, I am a stupid. It's full of my old man's books and other things that he's picked up on our raids. I wonder how old some of that stuff actually is. It's the flag of the Dying family. I've always liked this design. It just says Blue Rogues to me. It's a classic. It's a picture of the Albatross. My dad has had this boat for as long as I can remember. She's a good boat. I never could quite figure out what this was a picture of. Ika thinks it's a giant balloon, but I think, I think it's a big rock. These boxes contain all the good loot from all our recent raids. My dad always takes the good stuff, so I suppose he is the captain. Anything else? Okay. Ew. Secret book, guys. This is where that lovely treasure is hidden. Let's go get it. What could it be? What could it be? 150 gold! Yes! Now I can get Aiko's boomerang. So that was behind Dad's bookcase. You think? You think that was his gold? <laughs> Did I just steal my dad's secret gold? I'm sure he didn't notice. Let's go. Let's go get that boomerang. I don't like Ika being left out like that. She is a good lad. She deserves a new rang. A new boomer. Come on, Zach. Here's your frickin' money. Mother flower. Yes. 
Wait, how much she uh she already learned green. Let's have her learn blue. Ah uh, bleh red. What am I colorblind now? Uh and let's switch vice to green. Equipment weapon and green. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay, let's go outside. Um Ugh, to climb more ladders. Now can I go, dude? Yes, she is permitted to wander freely. Also, there are two treasure chests in this underground port containing emergency supplies somewhere. You might want to look for them. Where are they? I got one there. What? Where's the other one? Guys, where's the other one? There was one. There was nothing over there. Nothing over there. What? Wow. Oh, I think I know. But not through here. Let's go. Vice, go on ahead. I have to stop by my house for a second. Why? What's wrong? I just want to freshen up. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. See you at your house. Toodles. Hmm. I know that if I go to her house and do a little peeky poo, she's gonna get mired. Let's do it. I wonder what this handkerchief is for. Oh, I think there's something underneath it. Oops. The handkerchief was there to cover this hole in Aika's room. She looks so pretty with her hair down. <gasps> oh, who's there? Take that, you creep! Ow! My eye! Vice, what are you doing peeking into my room? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe that you would spy on me like that. Get out of here! But, but, I was just looking under this handkerchief. I didn't know. You probably just put it there to draw people's attention. <laughs> this guy. Uh, see, it's little things like that that I love about this game. Anyways, if you go into here, you'll be back into the underground area. But... Voila! Moonberry, yeah! What can we get? What can we get now? So we can either do this one, or create an anti-magic shell around all allies for one turn. Blocks allies' magic, too. Now, Ika's blocks magic from both, from all party members, while Vice's is just on himself, but it's physical attack. I believe we'll do Ikas just because it's for everyone. Delta Shield. Very nice. Alright, guys, I think I'll stop here. And tomorrow we'll continue going 
above ground and talking to the villagers and introducing Vina to my mother and everyone around. It'll be a good swell time. My name is Nareka. If you enjoyed this playthrough, please give it a like, subscribe, share, comment of what you thought of this playthrough. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And if there's any suggestions, pop those in there too. Until then, we'll see you on the next vid. Janae!